Hi, welcome to another video on tensor calculus. In this video, we will discuss about dot product between the vectors. So let us consider a vector u vector which is equal to u x i vector plus u y j vector plus u z k vector. From our previous video, what we have discussed is we can replace x, y, z by 1, 2, and 3 and i vector, j vector, and k vector as e1, e2, e3. And hence, we can able to write this one as u1, e1 plus u2, e2 plus u3, e3. Fine. Now, let us consider one more vector, say v vector. So we can write v vector as v1 e1 plus v2 e2 plus v3 e3. So in generally we can write it as vi ei and we can write this one as uj ej. So now what I want to do is I want to find the dot product between the vector u and the vector v. We need to find the dot product. So we can write it as the dot product is u vector dot v vector which is equal to say u1 e1 plus u2 e2 plus u3 e3 dot product v1 e1 plus v2 e2 plus v3 so if we try to find the dot product between uh, these two vectors we can get u1 e1 dot product v1 e1 plus u1 e1 dot product v2 e2 plus u1 e1 dot product v3 e3 plus u2 e2 into v1 e1 plus u2 e2 dot v2 e2 plus u2 e2 dot v3 e3 plus u3 e3 dot v1 e1 plus u3 e3 dot v2 e2 plus u3 e3 dot v3 e3 now if we try to find the dot product the dot product is between the vectors that is e1 dot e1 then e1 dot e2 e1 dot e3 similarly e2 dot e1 e2 dot e2 and e2 dot e3 then e3 dot e1 e3 dot e2 e3 dot e3 the dot product is between the vectors e1 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 e2 e1 e3 e2 e1 so similarly so on and so forth so the dot product is between the vectors u1 v1 we can multiply it as it is so the if we try to find the dot product e1 dot e1 it is equal to 1 we know that we know that i vector dot i vector is equal to 1 j vector dot j vector is equal to 1 whereas the cross, cross product is equal to 0 and the dot product is equal to 1 so the dot product between the other two vectors e1 and e2 it is 0 e1 and e3 it is 0 e2 and e1 it is 0 e2 and e1 e2 dot e2 it is 1 e2 dot e3 it is 0 so here it is 0 here also it is 0 here it is so if we 
take these values, the dot the product, uh, the value of the dot products, and substitute it here. Substitute in this equation, we get u1 v1 plus u2 v2 plus u3 v3. We will get this. So we will get this term. So this term, this term becomes zero because e1 dot e1 e1 dot e2 it becomes zero. e1 dot e3 it is become term becomes zero. This term also becomes zero, and this term will be present. This goes to zero. This goes to zero. This also goes to zero. This term will be present. So finally, we can write u vector dot v vector is equal to we can rewrite this one as u i v i so this is how we represent the dot product of any two vectors in indication notation so u vector dot v vector is equal to u i v i okay so now we ended up by saying that u vector dot v v vector is equal to u i v i fine so now consider this equations these terms e1 dot e1 e1 dot e2 e1 dot e3 e2 dot e1 and so on so now what we can do is we can replace all this by ei vector dot ej vector we can replace all this by ei dot ei dot ej so how what is ei dot ej ei dot ej ei dot ej so both are unit vectors ei dot ej if i expand i can expand this one with respect to 1 2 1 3 and j also i can expand it with respect to 1 2 1 3 so i get e1 dot e1 so I, I i will end up in getting nine terms e1 dot e1 the next term will be uh, e1 dot e2 e1 dot e3 then e2 dot e1 e2 dot e2 e2 dot e3 then e3 dot e1 e3 dot e2 and e3 dot e3 so we can write this ei dot ej as delta ij because what happens to these values when i takes the value of 1 and j takes the value of 1 it is the value of delta ij that is 1 e a dot e2 i takes the value of 1 and j takes the value of 2 i is not equal to i i is not equal to j so it is zero so in the previously we have discussed that delta ij what is delta ij delta ij it takes a value of it is equal to 1 when i is equal to j and the delta value delta ij value it takes a value of 0 when i is not equal to j right so ei dot ej we can write it as delta ij so where ei and ej are the two mutually perpendicular unit vectors thank you